Like I just for real need for you to listen and watch this video and hear the words that I'm saying. When I came out as trans, I thought that that was the end. I thought that I was gonna be like disowned and this, this and that. All that you did was what's up welcome back to my channel it's me princessy yay freaking we all right so today i have a very very special video for you today i know you guys are like hey what's happening trinity uploads new videos every monday but today's sunday what's the deal it's mother's day so i got a very special video dedicated to all the mamas out there to my mom especially and to all the mothers um and my mom's, I need to clarify that. My mom, um, she has a wife. She's a beautiful woman. And um, they're very happy together. I wanted to make this video about <clears throat> my mother. And this is going to be the story of me. And I know you guys are like, Trinity, what happened to your hair? What happened to this or that? Bitch, it's natural. It's all natural. Anyways, so I totally decided to do this video because, like, the way that I'm looking, because my mom, um, you know, she was like, I like your hair. My mom's my biggest supporter. My mom is there for me always through everything, no matter how delinquent that I am. Like, she is always in my corner. She's always up to bat for me, and I love that woman so much. I'm going to start with me being born. So... I grew up in Detroit, Michigan, and my mother was a single mother, and she raised me uh, to be the beautiful young lady that I am today, and I thank her for it. Um, when I was there, uh, my mom did everything that she could to make sure that I had everything that I needed, and I didn't realize what was going on, but um, yeah, I mean, she put me in the most beautiful baby contest. And I really loved that. I think that she loved me being in the most beautiful baby contest so she could like strut her little baby around. And um, I identified as male then. That's my gender birth. So um, at a very, very early age, so this is for like the moms with like trans kids too. So that's kind of cool. But at a very early age, I was in love with the Spice Girls. And my mom took me to um, somewhere in Detroit we got to see the opening of Spice World in like this airport hangar. And if you wore the pajamas, you got the free Spice World like behind the scene, VHS. Yes, I said VHS. So of course I wore my pajamas. It was lit and I was too cute. And there was a song in there and it's like, mama, I love you. And every Mother's Day when I was like a kid, I'd always sing that to my mom. And um, I mean, I really like the Spice Girls, but I definitely put that insert in the beginning of the video because I love her. And um, yeah, we moved here uh, to Louisville, Kentucky, and it was uh, it was cool. It was different. She moved here. I always tell everybody she moved here so I could have a better life. Um, I tell them that she didn't want me to grow up, um, you know, where we were and become like a gangbanger or a hood rat or something, which I'm kind of still a little hood rat, but whatever, you know. Anyways, so that was another good thing. I'm going to speed up to my transition. Like, I've always been a crazy kid, and I've always done, like, some crazy shit. And um, my mom has not always been too pleased with me, to say the least at all. I know I like to say that I'm an angel, but I know that I'm not an angel by any means. So I started my transition, and I started in West Virginia with my ex-boyfriend, uh, we were not together at the time. So my mom calls me up in West Virginia and she's like, Brr, what's up? And I'm like, oh, hey. And she's like, so I saw the pictures on Facebook, like uh, Trinity, question mark, who is this? Uh, what's going on? What's happening? So I, I told her and I was like, you know, I think that I'm like curious about the transition. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. And I'll let you know when I figure it out. And I think that my transition has been really hard on my mom. And at times, I do think that she misses Andrew. And um, 
I feel like regardless, she always knows that I'm her baby. So if you are trans and you're having issues with your mom, like I just for real need for you to listen and watch this video and hear the words that I'm saying. When I came out as trans, I thought that that was the end. I thought that I was gonna be like disowned and this, this blah, and blah, blah, blah. And trust me, there's still some family issues. Don't get me wrong by any means. But um, I definitely thought that I did not need support from my mother and I need to let you all know that I was wrong um, so if your mother is willing to uh, be in your life after um, like whatever you're going through whether you're going through a transition or you're coming out as gay or you're coming out as lesbian or whatever you're doing if your family's gonna be there for you please stick with your family because I love my mom so hard so she finally came around to the idea of me being trans you know um, I was back and forth in and out of rehab and sorry y'all that was a big SB over there back and forth in and out of rehab and that really broke her heart uh, running around with this little boy that I was dating at the time and um, I don't know I just I did I did my mom really really bad at some point in time because I was so selfish I was just so extremely selfish and like don't be judging me talking about oh she's so selfish no like i mean if you can look back in your life i'm sure that you were selfish too so um but that's not what this video is about i'm gonna fast forward to um towards me getting clean so um i was at a really low state in my life i've never told anybody this anyway so this is like coming out here on camera for the first time I was at a really low point in my life, and um, this guy that I was talking to, he like liked me, but he didn't like the whole trans thing, and he had a girlfriend, and blah, 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 and he was only using me for drugs, and it really like, I was at like my all point breaking low, like just so low. And I decided to buy a bus ticket and move to California and become a beach bum because I thought that I was gonna be homeless anyways. My mom wouldn't let me stay with her because I had caused so much damage in the past. So I just decided to roam the world. Fuck, I've been homeless for so long. Why not, why not be homeless in Los Angeles, the city of angels where dreams come true, right? So I looked at this little rehab for trans people and like how to get on your feet. And I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings at the time. So I was gonna get a job in Hollywood um, at Buffalo Wild Wings. But I went out and I partied the night before and it was like a birthday going away party and I lost my ID. So I get to California, no ID, I'm scared to death. There's a whole bunch of like uh, Latino people because California's for Latino people. And um, it was it was just really scary. I didn't know anybody or anything, and um, it was really rough. And that was the first time that I ever saw my mom cry like, like really really bad. And the fact that I did that to her um, really like hurt me. But I felt like I was doing what was best for everybody. I just thought that I like I didn't see a reason for living. It was either like run away to California or kill myself. Like this is like an intense video. Like. This is intense. I didn't even think about getting that intense. But I was like, I was really contemplating suicide and I was just gonna overdose um, in the bathroom um, on a quiet night and yeah. So I definitely think in retrospect that I don't regret anything that I did even though my mom is still very pissed that I did that. Um, I mean, I, I just didn't wanna live anymore. I didn't, I didn't wanna do it. Everything was extremely hard and people were like, well, why don't you just stay Andrew? Why don't you just, why don't you just be a boy? But that's not what I was. That's not, that's not, that was not it. That was not it by any means. So, um, I get there. LA wasn't what it was cracked up to be. And my mom paid a whole bunch of money to get me home. Well, my mom's paid a whole bunch of money to get me home. And I love both of them. Um, you know, my stepmom, she's absolutely amazing. She does anything and everything for me. She goes out of her way for me. And I really do appreciate that. So if, if you're watching this, I do love you. I love you so much. Um, but yeah, ever since I came back and I got the daylight scared out of me, um, I quit doing drugs and um, on May 19th, I will be clean from like all hard drugs. So that's really cool. I just, uh, I really wanted to make this video as a shout out to all the moms. Support your kid no matter what. <coughs> I will give my left testicle um, to my mom if she needed it for some reason. Shit, I'll give them, I mean, I'll just, 
I need to get rid of him. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, mom, I love you so much, and I'm so sorry that I could not, like, you know, I want to be on some Drake stuff and, like, buy you a big house and stuff and be like, I only love my bed and my mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's not, that's not, I'm not balling like that, but mom, one day, one day, <gasps> I will be, and I'll put y'all in a mansion, okay? Okay. Okay. Anyways, that's all that I had for this video. I know it's choppy, I know, and I know it's all over the place. I just got off work. I didn't have any time to do no hair, no makeup, no nothing. But I really wanted to get this video out, and I really wanted to express um, in a way that I could express that I have put my mom through hell and back. And I don't even know how to repay her for half the things that I did. Not even, I'm talking like pre-trinity like i mean i've just done some really wild shit from moving to west virginia to chicago to los angeles like if you guys have a mother or mothers in your life please treasure them because i don't know what i would ever do if i lost my mom and i think about this like sometimes because like she got some health shit juice and stuff, but I literally feel as if I would be in a really, really bad spot if I, my mom was not on this earth. So I just kind of want to, um, my mom to be alive forever. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I love you, mom. I love you guys for watching. If you are new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. If you are a returning member to my channel, I will be putting out a new video tomorrow. Make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe, comment. If you, um, if you love your mom, comment below. If you love me, comment below. Bye. Mama, you always was the black queen. Mama, I finally understand for a woman it ain't easy trying to raise a man. Always was committed, a poor single mother on welfare. Tell me how you did. Peace, love, slay. Bye. <laughs>